so she knows and welcome back to my channel so as you can see I am all dressed up all sexy and hot Annabelle from Conjuring I had to redo this look about hundred times because it was freaking hot so six times of trying I was happy with the result so here I am I am going to quickly show to you guys how to get this Annabelle look yeah yeah so also this is a collaboration with Cassie so please go to her page and check out her um, Halloween makeup video as well anyway I hope you guys like this video and if you guys want to know how to get this look then please stay tuned all right so I'm just gonna start off with applying my moisturizer as usual so now I'm using dr. feel good as my primer because Annabelle is a doll and she has really really smooth skin so we just want to really create um, skin that is smooth as possible so now I'm using this foundation which I got from Japan it's called 24 hour Cosme foundation really really make sure that your face is nice and covered and that there will be no blemishes whatsoever because with doll face it's really really important to have that really clear skin I'm gonna apply a little bit on my neck as well just to blend it a little bit so now I'm going to set my foundation with this powder right over here this is by Angel Color I feel like if you want to go for that creepy makeup I mean creepy doll makeup look um, it's always best to go for that lighter look just to give that little bit of plasticness I really really recommend using something like this for your skin if you want to go for that really matte smooth finish so now I'm gonna be using Jumbo Eye Pencil by NYX and I'm gonna be using this around my eyes which is gonna open up my eyes really wide So with the top eyelid, I'm going to stop at this point because we're going to be applying eyeshadow after for the rest of the eyelid. So now I'm taking Stella Natural Eyes Eyeshadow Palette and we're taking this color called Sandstone which is right over here. I know I have been using this color so much so there's pretty much none left there. And we're just going to be applying it right at the bottom of the white eyeliner we have applied before. And basically what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be applying the same color that we have just applied before um, with this angled brush right over here and we're just going to be drawing a line onto our top eyelid. So now I'm taking this blending brush right over here and we're just going to basically apply this color onto the outer corner, outer corner of our eyelid. <laughs> and you want to basically blend this color with everything else. I'm now taking this white eyeshadow right over here. I find Jambo Eye Pencil by NYX is a great product whatsoever, but it creases pretty easily. So by using eyeshadow on top, we'll set that cream in place and it's gonna last you a lot more longer. Now I'm taking this color called Ebony right over here, which is really, really matte black. I am going to be lining my bottom eyelid. Next, I'm using Bliss which is right over here basically I'm going to be applying bliss around my eye to really really blend that brown so now I'm taking my candy doll um, black eyeliner pencil and I'm going to be applying this onto my top waterline and now I'm going to be creating a cute little winged eyeliner So for my lashes, I'm going to be using Diamond Lash and Cat's Eye for my top lid. For my bottom eyelid, I am using Diamond Lash and Sweet Eye. With the top eyelid eyelashes, I didn't want to go too extreme with it, so I just cut them up into pieces like this. So you want it something like this. Because I want corner of my brows to be gone, I'm going to be using this guy right over here. It's Mix and Medium by MAC. You see that corner? I want that to be gone. I'm taking a tiny, tiny bit, just like that. <coughs> I think I'm getting sick. So once it's dry, I'm gonna be using some concealer to really just clear that bit. 
Now I'm taking this guy right over here again. This one is Emberg by MAC, which I have used before. You can see sort of like the shadow coming through from my brow to my nose. You can't really tell because I'm Asian, so I don't really have a nose bridge, but you know what I'm talking about. We want to create a nose bridge. So I'm taking this angled brush right over here and we're just going to be drawing that line. So now I'm using this flat brush right over here. I'm going to be bringing that brown down to make that sort of look like um, shadow coming through. Now I'm going to be applying the brown just a little bit right over here as well. Just going to make it just, you know, nice and soft. So with a bit of concealer, I'm just really cleaning that line. It's okay if your concealer is a little bit light as well because um, with this look, it doesn't really matter. We are now taking this color, which is like sort of grayish, dark, dark brown. And with this color, I'm going to be drawing that thinnest brows that Annabelle Doll has. Alright guys, we're going back for the sandstone again and we're doing fun contouring. So like Annabelle has a very, very, very tiny nose. So I'm going to try and create that. Now with Annabelle, she has really, really tiny nostrils. So I am really, really making sure I'm giving that nice shadow so that my nose will appear um, a lot more smaller. Now tip for nose contouring is, I'd say, don't overthink. Imagine in your head where would the light will hit or where would the shadow will come through. And for me, I feel like the shadow should come around here. And if you're leaving that little bit of um, center part, instantly it gives you that um, look of you have got the really tiny skinny tip of nose. So because Annabelle is smiling at all the times, we are going to create that sort of smiley wrinkle. And uh, with this, you want to smile so that you can follow your natural wrinkles. For my lips, I'm using this lip pencil by MAC and it's called Cherry. So before I apply anything on my lips, I'm going to apply a bit of foundation to clear any pigmentation that's on my lips. So once I have applied my lip liner, I'm going to apply this color right over here. It's called Diva by MAC. So I'm taking a bit of Emberg and we're just going to be outlining my lips. Next, I'm just going to be applying this lip gloss right over here. This one's called, oh, True Red. It's by NYX. And I'm just going to apply it just on the top lid. Now I'm taking this really, really pale concealer and this is going to go onto my bottom lid as a highlight. I'm going to create shadow under my lips. I'm going to create that using Emberg by MAC. So now I'm going to be applying this grey tone that I showed here and there for my wrinkles. You know when you smile you can see the slight shadow coming through. Don't forget to apply some um, eyeshadow over there as well just to make it a little bit more... I don't know how to say it but Annabelle has it so we should do that too. For my cheeks, I am going to be using a bit of Diva as my blush. And when you apply your blush, smile. And you don't have to be too perfect at this point because she doesn't really have nice blended blush anyways. So with a really, really light pale concealer that I was using before, now I'm going to go ahead and highlight my whole entire face with it. So nearly done guys, so lastly I'm going to draw a little bit of cracks on my face because Annabelle has that so I have to do it. So makeup is all done, I'm just going to go ahead and check my wig on. 
so here is the finished look I hope you guys thought this was a cool fun video as you can see I wanted to give myself that dirty doll look so I got some black eyeshadow and then just pretty much dabbed it on and I also added some cracks as well just to complete the look I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video happy Halloween don't forget to subscribe guys all right let's wipe this cake face off I feel free